Located in Steppingley, within Bedfordshire County, is Britain's first and only inclusive farm. Co-founded by Mike Duxbury and Ness Shilito, the farm aims to promote diversity in farming, which is significant as the government's annual population survey found that agriculture was one of the least likely industries to employ disabled people. I, I fell in love with animals from a very young age. They're all a bit, they're a bit nervous. I mean, they're quite they're getting better, but they're, 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 you know, they're doing good. He wants to prove that disabilities are not a hindrance to working in agriculture and to inspire young people to consider a career in farming. Because they have a disability doesn't mean they can't do their whatever their dream is. Very proud of this place. Love it. Absolutely my dream. It's my total dream this place. Well, the reason for pursuing a career in farming is because really I knew nothing else. Um, you know, I was, as I said, I, I fell in love with animals from a very young age. And I always knew that as long as I could work with animals, I'd be all right, because that was always my passion. Now, I knew I wouldn't be a vet because, uh, obviously, because of my disability. But I knew that I could look after animals. I knew I could give them the level of care that I wanted to and, ne and they needed. And so I thought that's the, the, the direction for me. I've just got to fight very hard to persuade others to let me have the chance. Well, the very, pigs are very inquisitive. So if you sit in here long enough, they'll come up and, I mean, a batch I had before, there was one pig in there that absolutely adored me. I used to climb on my lap and snuggle up onto my chest. So, yeah, they're very, they're very friendly pigs. Uh, and as they get bigger, and the more time we spend with them, the more friendly they'll get. So to get to the point where you'll be able to literally come in here and put your hands on them, and uh, no problem at all. Mike attended an agricultural college in 1986 where he studied to become an animal nutritionist. He refused to let his disability prevent him from achieving his goals and after years of working for the Vodafone Group, being head of diversity and inclusion, Mike was finally able to pursue his lifelong dream to create a farm that's fully accessible to disabled people. Um, two years ago, I was getting a lot of people whose children wanted to go into farming, um, had a disability, but the colleges were basically denying them the right to go into college. And I felt so strongly about it, knowing that I had a background that I wasn't using, and yet that was always my, if you like, first love. Um, I, I needed, I was drawn back into it. A, because that's what I wanted really to do, and B, to help other people. Because they have a disability doesn't mean they can't do their whatever their dream is. So, you know, I'm, I'm already talking to a number of schools and colleges where I'm going to go in and give some lectures and some, you know, talks about, you know, my background, how I, you know, when I was at school wanted to be something and how I fought my way through the system. Um, and hopefully we can make it a better system now than it was back in my day. As the only blind farmer in Britain, Mike uses touch and sound to move around his farm. All these fronts are different in texture so I can feel which pen I'm at so I know at the moment I'm at the sheep. If I go up to the left where the geese are, that's got a different fence front because that's wire and rails. So that helps me. But everything you can see on this farm has been built by myself. 